a lot of more complex bootstrap elements not only have properties which assign classes to the element, but they also change the HTML code. Let's take a look at Jumbotron, for example. It has a full width property. So you can check here in the tree now, Jumbotron is located into a container. And if I select full width, Pine Grow takes it out puts it on the top level and creates another container to host the content of the Jumbotron. And if I deselect, the opposite happens. So Jumbotron is placed into the first container in the document and the inner container is gone. Um, same function we can find in forms. And here, for example, we, we can change in different form times types inline, normal, horizontal, and PineGrow takes care of all the HTML changes for each of, of these types. Another thing which a lot of bootstrap elements have, it's here in the actions menu, we can find a kind of shortcut to insert uh, a child to this element. So form, for example, has like different different uh, input fields. Just click and the new input group is placed into the form and then we can use the tree to put it uh, into like specific location where we want it to be. And similar with Jumbotron, here it has like option to insert title, text, or a button. Let's do another button. And make it into a link. So that's another way how we can quickly place elements on the page. And another element I want to show is progress bar. Let's put here one. So we select it, we see properties, we can like make it striped or animated. And also actions menu gives us a shortcut to insert a section which already has like a, has a field percent and type so it's very easy to customize and build bootstrap elements with pine Grove.